to. Say goodbye to Carl. Yeah. What? I've got water bed for what there? <laughs> hey, Paul, do you get this problem? Yeah, it's just leaves and muck in your gut, isn't it? You need to clean it out, mate. Deb used to clear it out for me. I'm for ages. Yeah, I'll just do mine at the end of every autumn. Oh, Mr. Organised, eh? No. No, you just get water running down your walls and then you get damp, so you need to sort it out, Carol. Yeah. Job for today, I think. Come on, kids. Come on. Hello, big man. First day back at school, is it? Mm. I can't wait. I'm not. <laughs> Don't let your teachers hear you say that. Are you coming have tea with us tonight? Oh, I'm not sure. Hey, come on. We don't want to be late, do we? Oh. No, I said, come on. Come on, Peter. He's only chatting. Yeah? No, that's you. Nervous? Yeah. You're going to be fine, look. You're moving a lot better. You're hardly in any pain. How can that be a bad thing? No, no it might look bad either. So your heart's in your mouth and it gets back to you. Yeah. How did you take it? Well, it was pretty gobsmacked. Well, it is pretty bold of you. And it's not even a leap year. Yeah, well, I've not got three years to wait till the next one. How did you leave it? Well, the ball's in his court. Delbrook Hall's booked for Friday, and if he wants... We can be Mr and Mrs Tilsley before the weekend. And you're sure it's the right thing to do? Well, you're not, obviously. Look, if I let him go without a fight, I'll never forgive myself. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe you could get up early one morning and make breakfast for a change. All oh, right, keep your neb out, in other words. Oh, oh no, Eva, you're the soul of discretion. I can be, actually. Mm. Let's just leave it there, shall we? Whatever you say, Leanne. Oh! So what are you going to do? Well, at least that's not a no. <laughs> it's not a yes, either. Well, you must still be in love with it or you won't be agonising over it like this. Well, it's complicated. I know, but she regrets what she did and she feels the same way. What? You on her side all of a sudden? I'm just trying to work out what's best for you. You're obviously still in love with her and you say you're missing Simon. Isn't that another reason? Maybe. I think you need to forget about what happened. Speak to her about why she wants to try again. Excuse me? Is this Leanne you're speaking about? Not now, Mum. Are you saying she's been in touch with him? After all she's done to you? Gail, come and give me a hand behind the bar for a second, would you? <coughs> that man's a godsend. Um, he's nearly there, Paul. And the other one... Excellent. OK, Sophie, put your shoes back on and come sit down. <clears throat> yeah, that all looks very promising. Your movement and reflexes are all fine, actually. I'm getting much back pain? There's a bit of stiffness, but not nothing major. How often are you taking the painkillers? I stopped taking them ages ago. And your mobility's good, obviously. Yeah, like, I'll still walk with my stick, but I can walk when needed. No bladder or bowel problems? <laughs> <at all laughs> no. Yeah, no problems. And how are you getting on with the physio? Yeah, brilliant. Good. So, what's the verdict? Well, I'd say you're doing exceptionally well. And I certainly don't want to see you for another three months. Really? When, with any luck, I think we can discharge you. <sighs> so what was all that about, calling me away? I hate to see you falling out with your son, that's all. But if he's thinking of getting back with Leanne... Yeah, I know it sounds horrendous. The person you should be talking to is her. Sounds like she's doing all the running. Say what? We'll say she's caused enough trouble already and she should back off. Oh, she'd love that. Look, it's not going to be easy, I know. Have you forgotten the state Nick was in on Christmas Day? Of course I haven't. I was worried sick about him. Exactly. We don't want a repeat performance so things go wrong again. Look, I know you're not doing this to cause trouble. You're doing it because you care. It's true. You're a responsible mum. That's one of the things I love about you. If I speak out, won't that just make her more determined? Or Nick Seymour's sense. Look, I know this. He won't thank you if you say nothing and it goes wrong again. Having said that, maybe this is none of my business. I'm sure you'll do the best thing. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's going to be all right, Dinner. Yeah, because you know everything. Yeah. 
Well, I do. Oh, a bit isn't the Sophie Webster. Hi. How'd you get on? Well, yeah, everything's going to plan. I don't have to see him for another three months. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, well, it's all down to you. You were the model patient. <laughs> we make a good team. Absolutely. Um, so I see you this week as usual, yeah? Yes, but then it all changes, you'll be pleased to hear. Why? If you've had the thumbs up from Mr Phillips, don't need to see you quite so often. Oh, so... A few more appointments and that'll be it. Oh, I didn't realise. Hospitals are for sick people, not healthy ones. I'm not exactly fully recovered, am I? Well, you need to go on with your exercise regime, as Mr Phillips no doubt told you, but you won't need my supervision as much. Even more good news, Sophie. Yeah, brilliant. What are you doing on that phone, Sean? You've been fiddling with it all morning. I'm using the calculator to work out how many pairs of knickers I've stitched since I started it. Why? Turns out it's 160,000. How many? Well, give or take 5,000. If you laid them end to end, they stretch from here to Bradford. Oh, oh, put it away. You're making me feel dizzy. Oh, look, it's fizz. Oh. Are you coming? No fear. I'll see you in the pub. Good to see you back. Well, how are you feeling? Yeah, my head's a bit sore, but I'm a lot better, thank you. Hope you've got that boiler fixed. Yeah, the landlord got something in over the weekend. You were lucky there. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Good old Tina, eh? Yep, good old Tina. Oh, well, thank we'll you. let you settle in. Oh, sure. oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank see you. See you later. You just take care of yourself now. I will do. Thanks, Tina. All right. Hey. Have you, uh, have you seen Leanne? She's on a dinner. Oh, right. I just wondered if she'd had an answer. Uh, for what? Well, whether she'd had a yes or a no. Sorry, love, I, you've lost me. You mean you don't know? Know what? Leanne's asked Nick to marry her. You are joking me. Rebooked the wedding, popped a question, just waiting for an answer now. She told you this, did she? Let's just say the walls in the robes are pretty thin. Oh, <laughs> So how are you going to manage to stop it this time, then? I don't give two oops what they do. I just thought you might be interested. Oh, did you now? Hey, I'll know who to come to when folks round here need to know me business, won't I? I do think it's a shame about you and Fizz. She's the cause of it. She did nearly just die because of that dodgy boiler. So what? Well, don't you think you could give her a break? She tried to split me and Tyrone up in case you'd forgotten. I know, but uh, well, it's times like these that you can take the opportunity to put bad blood behind you. She'd have to do more than nearly die before I change my thinking. Oh, right. Well, on a happier note, how are your wedding plans going? Really good. Actually, that reminds me, I was going to ask you if you fancied being a bridesmaid. A bridesmaid? Well, in fact, it's a maid of honour. Oh. Look no further, I'll be thrilled. Are the uh, invitations in the post then? Oh, it's only going to be a small day. Does that mean I'm not getting one? I didn't think you'd want to come. Well, I'd like to come. And me? Mm. Maybe we'd better think again then. You are having end night though, aren't you? Mm. Oh, yeah. Good. So who's doing you going on? Kirsty's end or Tyrone Stag? Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah. I hear you've been in touch with Nick. And what's that to you? Well, quite a lot, actually, considering the problems you've caused him recently. Oh, and he's talked to you about this, has he? No. But I sense there's something in the wind between the pair of you, and I don't think any good can come of it. Well, with respect, Gail, it's none of your business. In my business when it all goes wrong. So, if you care for him at all, will you stop playing with his feelings and leave him to get on with his You're life? unbelievable. Said what I came to say. I'll leave you with it. <laughs> I never thought I'd find myself a girl with girl making Oh, well, you can stay out of it. Wait till she finds out what you're really plotting. It's a bit hasty, isn't it? You trying to get him back up the aisle so soon. How do you know? Oh, just a little bird. Very flighty one. Said something about the walls of the pub being thin. Eva. Leanne, you must be desperate. It's got nothing to do with you. You don't seriously think he's going to say yes, do you? And even if he does say yes, it's... it'll never work. Well, I say it will. And I say you're making a very big mistake. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
That's such good news. Yep. So every couple of weeks, I'll all be over. Pretty much. No more schlepping to hospital every two weeks. No. No more excuses to see Jenna. Or is, is that why you look like you've been given two months to live? I'm just dreading it, Ryan. Like you could run out in front of another car? Sorry. But what are you going to do? Right, I'm just looking into town before I pick the time up. All right, see you later. Okay. What? You just couldn't help yourself, could you? What are you talking about? Oh, so you're denying having a word with Peter? Oh, yes. That. You're so pathetic. What's she done now? I'll let her tell you. She's not in. I mean, if it is Leanne you're looking for. All right. Do you, uh, and leave a message? Uh, no, you're all right. Like no, or is it yes? Oh, I can't wait for the answer. How do you know? Uh, now look. Oh, look at him, his mind's racing. Was it Leanne who told me? So she could try and get me back, maybe? One last stab before she settled for second best. So not Leah. You know, even Gail can see through her. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't she tell you? She came in here threatening Leanne to stay away from you. You know, I, I actually thought that you'd put her up to it because you always have been a bit of a mummy's boy, haven't you, Nicky? <laughs> it's really got to you, isn't it? Do I look got to? <laughs> you wouldn't give a toss if you didn't care for her. Well. If thinking that makes it easier for you, then you just keep thinking away. Why are you doing this? Because it amuses me. Because I got what I want. However, you, my friend, you've lost everything. Nick, just for the record, she only asked you because she can't have me. Says the man she married, because she thought you were dying. She will always want me. Funny, because half the time she was with you, she was sleeping with me. Have you got any idea what you look like? You're scrabbling around in the dirt for my leftovers, Nick. Everybody's having a good laugh at you. She's dumped you before. And she will go on dumping you as long as I'm around. Who's scrabbling on the floor now? Sling your smarmy hole. Get in there! You did know this had happened one day. Yeah, I know, but I've been pushing it away. I suppose I'm just gonna have to get over it. Maybe it's for the best. He says she feels the same way about you, but how do you know? She could be like that with everyone. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> You're not gonna go over and ask it? Why not? No, I really don't think that's a good idea. Look, seriously, what have I got to lose? If it backfires, I've only got a few more sessions left. And if I don't do anything, then I'll never know. You look worn out. Yeah, it's just been one of those days. Oh, not to worry. The nights are getting shorter now. It'll be spring before you know it. We've just got two of the coldest months of the year to get through first, and then we're laughing. Yeah, I've had a bad day. Can I buy you that? Hi. Sophie, no, no that's OK. Oh, no, I'd like to, though, just to say, like, thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, I know I must sound like a stuck record, but it wouldn't be professional. Yeah, we've only got a few more treatments left, though. Yeah, I'd still prefer not to, if that's OK. I don't want drink, won't I? Sophie, you're not listening to me. Yeah, thank you very much for the offer, but I really could do without this. Sorry. I should have never asked. Handle that well. What's happened? Nothing. Have you been in a fight? You have, haven't you? Who with? Oh, it doesn't matter. Who's he been fighting? Well, you must have seen. 
was Peter, OK? Before you have a go at me, didn't help your little talk with Leanne. Well, I only did what was best. I told you this morning that girl's nothing but trouble. Mum, Mum, will you just leave it? Look, I know you don't want to hear Yeah, but you got that right. But somebody's got to tell No, no, someone doesn't have to tell me! You know, you're so out of order, you just make things a thousand times worse. Will you just listen No, I don't me? want to listen to you! Will you get out? Actually, everyone, will you just get out? There's nothing to pay, everything's on the house. It's just not a good time, OK? Thank you. Do you not hear me? Leave you on your own. Please leave me in peace, for God's sake. Come on, get out. Let's do what he says. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Sorry about what happened back there. <sighs> you said no, I should have just left it. I still shouldn't have snapped. No worries. I'm making coffee if you want one. Not if it compromises your professional integrity, though, of course. I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> coffee would be nice. Take a seat. I still can't believe that happened. I've never seen him so steamed up. Do you think I made things worse going to see Leanne? Well, you're trying to protect your son. What, what could be wrong in that? Maybe I should go and apologise. I'd leave it till he's calmed down a bit if I were you. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Let's go and have a bite. I'm just out on lunch today. Oh, I don't think I'm hungry after that. Well, it might take your mind off things. You know, some comfort food at the cafe. My treat, OK? done that gutter, have you? Uh, oh, no, I clean forgot. Carl, you've had all day. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. No, you'll do it today before it goes dark. Uh, I haven't got a ladder. Then borrow one. Where from? I don't know. Ask somebody. Ask Owen. Owen? He's halfway down Victoria Street. All of about 100 yards. Oh, I'm sure it's going to kill you. But where have you them ladders, you know? Then get someone to help you. I want it done today, OK? Cheers, thanks. I hear you broke up a fight out there. Well, you're giving me a tin star next week. <laughs> Did those guys ever stop? I don't think they know how to. Stella will be thrilled. Oh. He'll be pleased to hear Sophie got an OK at the hospital today. Yeah, she said it's fantastic news. Uh, where is she? Do you know? She, uh, she went off. Why? Something wrong? She's a bit upset, that's all. Not because of you, I hope. No. And why? You'd better ask her that. Everyone. Send them home. Why? Because I'm the boss. <gasps> what have you done to your face? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to be on my own, okay? David will fill you in. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you're sure. Yeah, I am. Please. All right. See you tomorrow then. Hey, uh, kid, Chesney, is it? Craig. Craig, how do you fancy earning yourself a quid? What doing? Well, all you got to do is shin up this ladder, scoot the doings out of that gutter into this bucket. I don't get out of bed for less than a ten. I'll take you three minutes. You do it then. All right, two quid. Two fifties, easiest cash I'll ever earn. Sorry. Five, a final offer. Just let me go and feed my rat. I'm sorry if I've made things difficult for you. I'm sorry if I overreacted. 
all the rules and regulations we have to follow. It's tricky getting the right balance. Yeah, at least we won't have to worry about it for much longer. That's the main reason I'm here, Sophie. Look, there's no easy way to say this. <laughs> what are you going to do, bail on me again? I'm transferring your care to another physiotherapist. Why? Because he asked you if you wanted a drink. We both know it's more complicated than that. Do we? In the time I've been seeing you, we've got too close, which is my fault. I should never have allowed it to happen. Too close? I think you know what I mean. Certain boundaries have been crossed. You go on like we've been having an affair or something? No, but I'm not comfortable with how things are between us. I don't think it's appropriate to carry on seeing each other. Did you know that I fancied you? I can't deny that's been an added complication. And you don't feel the same? I'm sorry, I must have misread the signals. I just thought you did. My feelings are irrelevant. Who are you kidding? Jenny, you want this as much as me. Sofa? What's going on? We return to Coronation Street in half an hour.